Today we're going to be talking about how construction is progressing on Flamingoland's brand new 10 inversion roller coaster opening in 2020. Okay, so yes, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Now today I just do want to talk a bit more about what else we've learned about the new roller coaster coming to Flamingoland, speculate on some other stuff about the theme of the ride, and I also do want to show you some construction footage that I did film last week when I was at the park. So firstly, this is um, some footage of Altair from Cine City World. Now this is just showing you an idea of how the ride is going to end up. Now it will have lap bar trains, so I believe, and it will take you upside down obviously 10 times. Now that won't be a record, it won't be a record for the UK now, because obviously we've got the Smiler which takes you upside down 14 times. However, it will be a great new ride for Flamingo Land in my opinion, and will be something really good for that park. And I think, you know, it will bring a lot to that place, and it will definitely attract a lot, new, a lot of new visitors there. So the ride is planned to open in spring 2020. So here's a look at the construction site now. Now, this is basically all I could film of it really because the only view I could get was from Velocity Station. So that's where I filmed this from. And then obviously I'll just talk you through it. So yeah, so over there, right at the very back is where they're building the new ride. Now the station is going to be located on the right hand side. Um, alongside um, where Velocity is located and then the drop is going to go out towards the back and then come back in towards us. As you just saw then from the footage of Altair, the drop will be banked to the left. It will then go through a vertical loop, a cobra roll, two corkscrews and then it will go through four, sorry no, five I think it is, heartline rolls it's going to go through. Yeah, I've done that right, one, two, three, yeah. Or five yeah it is yeah five heartline ro rolls it's going to be going through and it's going to be doing a final turn over the grass near where the carousel is before it goes back into the brake run near the station now, the only construction on site so far besides all the footers which you have obviously started to put in and drill down for them it's just obviously the big site where the cobra roll is going to go which you can see marked off by the red fencing that there will make a great entrance way to the new ride and I think that's probably going to be where you enter into it. Now, um, you can also see a metal shed at the back. That is going to be a maintenance building from what I can gather, but it could also be some kind of building in the queue line. We just don't know. Um, how well themed this is going to be, we just don't know at this stage. Um, now, there's been speculation that it's going to be called Inversion. I hope it's not. Um, so it will be located within um, the metropolis area of the park. Now I'm not a massive fan of that area because I believe that Flamingoland is Bush Gardens of the UK. That's what I've always known it as. So then when you've got all that stuff there, it just doesn't feel great in my opinion because it's not really themed, it's just some metal fences and they um, say it's metropolis. So I'm not a massive fan of that. I hope it isn't. However, there has been some kind of like dark reddish um, coloured track that's turned up on site which does to me confirm that it is from Hopi Harry in Brazil despite the fact they said the ride's costing £23 million which just doesn't make much sense to me then since our icon was brand new out the factory and that only cost 16 and a half. but anyway and um, that ride is going to so I believe that it is from Hopi Harry in Brazil it does seem that way and that colour scheme there which it looks like they're keeping it that way which I don't mind it's quite a nice colour and it does seem to be painted fine if they are keeping it that way which as again it does seem that way they could do one of two ways they could either try and theme it in with dinosaurs in dino stone park which is just over the way or i think which is a possible likely option is to theme it to something to do with pirates as it is located just over the way from the pirates of zanzibar show so obviously construction has started to progress a bit since the last film this update last week as now Flamingo Land, as I was just showing you, have now posted about track arriving. Now, I will be back at um, Flamingo Land in a couple of weeks' time, 
um, filming another construction update for you and probably another vlog and also showing you some of their Halloween events too. So that is definitely something to look forward to and I'll make another video then showing you if anything else has progressed and obviously um, towards the end of the season um, we will see some movement in terms of them building the ride and putting it up. Um, from what I've been told, I was speaking to some of the staff there, um, they said that um, as far as they're aware they're not going to mess around with it and that um, once the track starts turning up they're not going to delay or anything, they're going to get it up quick so then it can be ready for spring next year. So hopefully before the end of the season we'll have some movement and we'll have some um, construction taking place. So, and I'll definitely be sure to show you that um, when it happens. So thank you very much for watching this video. Again, please remember to subscribe, follow me on Twitter and Instagram at ThemeParkJack and also check out my blog at, um, not at, just ThemeParkJack.com. So thank you very much for watching this video and I'll see you in a new video very soon. And look out for the Flamingo Land vlog coming in just a few days time. Bye now.